Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Boogie 2988 reaction. This one is called Kicked Out of a Gaming Convention, Retro Palooza, Houston, Texas. So let's see what happens in this video. Because, yeah, Boogie Upload again, it's 10 minutes long, so let's see what happens in this video. Keep your hand again, we should be with him in this. So just a heads up on that. Boogie, the place is bustling. Look at all the nerds. my people, Mike. my people? Boogie just sees all the people in his t-shirt sales. <laughs> I forgot my t-shirts, Mike. All I can do is give away free hugs. Oh, my God. Nobody wants that. Do you got any change? <laughs> well, at least we, at least we'll be out of here early, right? Boogie gives me a free hug. I want a dollar back. <laughs> oh. Mike, concessions. I know you like that. You motherfucker. You were the, you had to leave because you wanted food. <laughs> I might still leave because I still want food. What's up? Hey, do we have like any breakfast or anything anywhere? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah, I don't know the breakfast or not lunch. We'll have lunch. I don't think okay, what, where's our little private room? We have one in there. The internet this is Billy. Billy, not only one of my favorite people, not only a friend, a steam filmmaker, Game Chasers movie. Yeah. You're filling my head with bullshit. It's just so good. If you saw the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, I, I love you, Angry Video Game Nerd. That movie is shit compared to what Billy made. I mean, it's like night and day. It's like Scorsese and Marvel, basically. It's like a whole other thing. Also, just a heads up. Uh, someone left a comment on my last Boogie 2988 reaction. He's just a hater to Boogie. He can go to hell. There's a reason why I didn't respond to him. I just wanted to say that. Anyways, let's continue. Boogie has your picture as his screensaver in his phone. <laughs> Look, how oh, nice. Look how ripped he is. Look how ripped he is. How would I not? Oh, shit. How would I not? He's a good one. You're embarrassing me. I gotta leave. Is this our area? No. Oh my god, Mike. We're stuck in the regular. We're stuck in the regular, like, calling, like, plebs. We don't have anywhere to hide, Mike. Where are we gonna eat breakfast? We're gonna have to eat in front of people. We're gonna have to eat in front of Ghostbusters. We're gonna have to eat in front of people. They're gonna be like, you need to get the demon out of you. He's making you eat fucking 12 cheeseburgers. Is that the kid behind the camera music? Oh my god, I can hear that. Oh, that's funny. so good. We used to sell, they dissolve in your mouth. That's what I like about them, man. They got Takis with cheese, Mike. You know you'd eat that. Yeah, okay, I guess I would consider it. And I will eat street corn, man. You don't like street corn? It's got mayonnaise in it. Hell no. Oh. Mike, you're missing out. See, Boogie, this is why you should have set it up last night with everyone else. Well, I understand, but I was out trying to do stuff, man. I'm trying to make stuff happen, you know? <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm eating food with Mike. bucks for a Will Smith genie. Keep his wife's name out of your mouth. That's dude. right. Well, you know he's got the pimp slapping hips. <laughs> okay. Boogie, you ready to get slapped yeah. by Will Smith? Yeah, yeah. Still his heart and wings of redemption. <laughs> Boogie, big people said some stuff to me that's got me a little bit worried. Like, Boogie, aren't you morbidly obese? Don't you have polycythemia? Don't you have an enlarged heart? Don't you have high blood pressure? Didn't you used to be diabetic? Didn't you used to be 600 pounds? Isn't your back fused together? Don't your knees have... I'm assuming that Kip and the camera is filming him right now. I just don't know who else would be filming for him right now. Yeah, so. Arthritis in him, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's all true. But if you met the guy I'm fighting, okay, <laughs> I think I'm going to be all right. Hopefully it works. As long as I don't get knocked out before that first round. If I make it around two, I think he's done. I'll just be careful because he's he's trailer park hillbilly. Right oh, there. trust me. If, he, oh. if it was a, if, if it was a, a, did that guy just call Wings of Redemption Trailer Park Hillbilly? Dear God, I've been making hillbilly jokes on Red Dead with my clips on that, so that's actually hilarious. Pre-fight, I wouldn't be doing this. Their, their strategy is to let you kick their ass the first time, and then they wait till you're not looking, and they bash you on the back of the head with a two by four. That's how that's how rednecks think. They're gonna hit me in the head with a two by four. Any, any, any advantage 
advantage he thinks he's going to have, he's going to take it. What is he, Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Well, <laughs> not much difference. Not much difference. Of course. Uh, yeah, except for the fact yeah. that Hacksaw still makes money. Yeah. Hey, oh, you're a good hugger. You're, are you shaking a little bit? You anxious? A little bit anxious? Don't be anxious. Dude, look at this. She's got a Furby named Boogie Doo. Oh, my God. Awesome when big YouTubers like that, you know, meet their fans, you know, right? Because, um, I mean, if I, if I want, if, if I met anybody that I react to, I probably would have done, I probably would do the same thing, except for a companion camera, and I'm not going to get into that. Because, uh, there's a thing with companion camera that I'm not too happy with them for, which, um, I like watching his videos and all that, but I'm not too happy with Kippy on the camera. And, and this relates to McJuggernaut's drama with that last year. So I just want to give a heads up on that. But, um, no. Boogie, Aphmau, SMG4, fucking, uh, McJuggernaut's. I probably would do that for if I met them in real life. So I think it'd be an honor to meet them in real life. God, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Why are those things so creepy? The old school one. I had the new school one, right? Uh -huh. And it's like, you know, the electronic eyes nowhere near as creepy. So they are giving away this poster that everybody signs, and Boogie is signing it. Yeah, and you're going to. What? I mean, technically, you're not they like don't a want me on guest or anything like that. They don't want me on this thing. Trust me, everyone here knows who you are, Mike. Not one person has like, it's seen It's bonus me. value. It's bonus value. Trust me, sign it. I'll bonus feel, value. I don't feel like I belong. I'll sign one. Are you, are you allowed to hold this thing? I genuinely don't know. I think he just violated his parole. Oh, <laughs> no. What if I pull the trigger? What if I... Don't do it! it. Ah! 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 Right <laughs> Boom! Mike, 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 what's the problem, Mike? Oh, God. Put this thing away. I don't trust anything in your hands anymore. You guys, we are sitting here at this convention, and Boogie has, like, a huge line of people. Look at this. All these people here to see Boogie. The guy is in his element. He's out here doing panels. He is killing it. It's the reason he's alive. This is the reason that he, like... I thought Boogie was mad at you, uh... Though, Mike, I'm surprised that you're in his video here today, here, in this reaction. Because, uh, yeah, I saw, I reacted to the KP on the camera video yesterday, and some crazy shit happened. That video got three views already, it, literally in, in the span of an hour, so who knows how many views that video will get. It's really crazy to see. The guy is like the happiest I've ever seen him. It had like 200 people, dude. It was absolutely insane. Yeah. This is the last one right here. Yeah, like, How long did that take, dude? That, you were waiting at the time. back yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. That's what we're here for, though, right? You're here to meet people. We're here to make It was people. a lot of fun. I'm glad I came to this. And, and we've heard some stories, man. This is why I always tell you, Mike, people like to open up to me. We've heard cancer stories, leukemia stories, autism. There was one girl that Boogie just met. What was her name again? Maria. Uh, Maria. She cried like heavy tears just to meet Boogie. And it was a, yeah. it was an inspiring scene. You know what she told me? She said, um, I, 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 I fought cancer and you were there for me and I really appreciate you. You really helped me out a lot. And that's why I always tell her, man, well, I tell anybody this. I told her, uh, uh, you're the one who fought cancer. You're the one who beat cancer's ass. Like, I, I'm glad I could be there in a the window watch. You know, it's good that these YouTubers are there for people dealing with that stuff. And this is why I have to respect these YouTubers. You know, I have my little issues with Kip and the camera for talking smack on my juggernaut. It's, I have to respect them too, because I know there are people out there that Kip and the camera helps with them watching their videos and lifting their spirits. You know, that's what's good about these YouTubers. And I know that's definitely the case with that now too. Someone who has almost 17 million subs. So, um,. That's the thing with that. It's good, it's good to have these YouTubers out there have content to be uploaded on YouTube to help people through the troubles that they have in their life. So, and, and you know, this person, uh, and I guess Boogie with his videos and his content helped this girl out. And, and, and you gotta respect Boogie for that, you know? Or whatever, like keep you entertained, but. I don't know. Everybody's the main character in their own story, right? She's the main character. It's really inspiring to meet her, man. She broke broke my heart and made me feel loved at the same time. She's a sweetheart. Oh, he's working. Okay, we got some. 
Mike, Mike, throw his dollar on him. You want me to throw it out like a stripper? Yeah. We on Perver Row today. Hold on, you want to get You got to bend your legs more. Dude, this feels like Magic Mike. Okay. There you go, man. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> this guy's got something. I don't know what it is, but... What the hell, Michael? Okay, that was entertaining. That was good. That's what a convention's about. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Cover this lens, Boogie. Right here. <laughs> you want me to sign that? Dude, this isn't the real one. This is Burger King, Wendy's. What? I I'm not signing the Burger King Wendy's one. I need my Boogie in There's not even a Mountain Dew logo. <laughs> How is there not a Mountain Dew logo on this, dude? All right, I'll sign it for you. Only if, let's see, who do you, how does the fight go? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, let's see. Wings gets tired out or he doesn't even show up at all. Ooh, okay, I'll sign whatever you want. <laughs> I'll sign whatever you want. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is what I'm signing, okay? Not like a big boogie is rocky thing or anything like that. Look at Wings there. He looks uninterested. Look, look at that. You can see my my second titty. <laughs> I have double titty. Why do they put my second titty in it? I like Bowser here. What is you? You're Mario? Um, uh, no. What is this? What is this? What? Mario. Woohoo. Well, how do you do that? What else can he do? Honestly, how is he doing? Is what? He... <laughs> really? With the Mario noises? I swear. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, don't hit me with fireballs. Don't hit me with fireballs, man. Ooh, I ain't fireballs. Hit him. He's the bad guy. Dude, do you know he made this thing from scratch? Okay. I still have not forgiven you for sneaking me to Houston, okay? You want to buy my forgiveness? There's one thing you can do. What, my? See these uh, retro Palooza shirts over here? Yeah? Go steal one. <laughs> Mike, they're only five bucks. Why are we still selling this? Because it's funny dollars. if you get arrested in Houston. I had a bag. It was like full of like Pokemon stuff. The band game. Did you guys see it get turned off and down? They actually got gotcha. it. Let me check. Oh, okay. I'll just check. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Check over here, Boogie. Yeah. yeah so I, I think I, I think I remember. What the? Michael. Dude, did, did Boogie and Michael really do that? They stole a shirt from this convention. My, my, my car, my car. Boogie, are we ready to go? Yeah, we should go. We should go. Fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. Okay, you did it. Shh. Catch, Boogie. Jesus Christ, Mike. Mike, you're gonna... this is a nice shirt, though. Did you just seriously? Did you take the right size? Look at it. I think so. Hold on. I got the 4X. I don't know if there's 5Xs, but Is I got the 4X. Look at that. All right. That's a nice one. Okay, good for you, Boogie. No, it was good. He didn't steal that shirt. Don't worry. He totally stole that shirt. Feels like it could be on a camera video with what Boogie's doing with this one. He, he starts the video with the fucking his old intro, and then he does the same thing with the outro. I know this is a Boogie 290 AA reaction, but damn, I love that Boogie did this. But what I saw could be on the camera. I am a little worried about the friendship. I, I mean, I want Michael and Jesse and Jesse and Boogie to become friends again, but I also. I mean, it'll be worse if Boogie and Kippy on the camera are odds too. So I really hope that's not the case. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. And uh, yeah, this is a good video from Boogie. I enjoyed watching it.